So uh, briefly today, I want to talk about the most important part about micro franchising. Um, because a lot of people are talking about micro franchising, not understanding what micro franchising is and some of the important steps to make a micro franchise successful, you know. Um, so, but before I get started, man, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So, what, 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 what is micro franchising? Guys, uh, if you know anything about uh, franchising, it's basically the, the, the shorter version. Or the simplified version of franchising. Uh, basically, franchising, uh, uh, you can Google. I hate to spend time on definitions, you can Google. But mostly, you know, you, you basically uh, buying into an existing business. So you're licensing the business name, the brand, you know, the, the know how, the McDonald's, the Subway. To increase your chance, so most most franchising, uh, you have an 80% chance of success to, when you get into a franchise business than um, doing a business on your own because they really share. It's not just buying into a business, but they actually they they they, they actually assist you during the process. You know, for example, if you, if you buy a, a franchise like McDonald, they help you find the location. Uh, you buy directly from them, you don't have to find a supplier. The whole process, the whole value chain is already designed and built. The marketing, the bigger the franchise, the easier. So micro franchise is a little bit the same model, but it's really, really designed for the African market. Why micro? Well, very simple. Um, we're trying to impact the bottom of the, 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 the I hate the word bottom, the, the base of the pyramid, right? And, and it's not new. Uh, the word micro-franchising is a little bit new, but the, the model is, is not that new. Teleco is actually uh, one who started, they call it the aggregator model, right? With the agent, the agent network business. Agent network business that uh, telecom and banking in Africa has uh, developed uh, are very successful in, a, in some capacity. And uh, they really, sum up what fran micro franchising is but they're missing components so agent network is basically the, the, the people that telecos or bank recruit and train at the base of the pyramid you know they, they wear their brand the banking or the the, the, the the company they work with they work the the, the, the brand color the company supply all the, the small material like umbrella um what else they supply I remember in Rwanda, for example, wooden box. Sometimes they supply also that, uh, they call it a kiosk, it's just a box with already branded. They supply the, the services to be sold. They supply the commission. But they're missing two main components to make it a successful uh, a business or a successful network or a successful micro-franchise business. The number one uh, missing ingredient is training so most agent network don't get trained properly they don't get follow-up training um, a lot of them don't use the latest technology so we use feature form for example so it's very limited to what they can do they never get uh, trained about customer service I've seen in my experience when you put a customer service training element and a follow-up and you hold them accountable when you get customer negative customer feedback and all it increased sales because people don't understand man customers i don't care if they're at the bottom of the pyramid uh, uh the, the the upper class whatever the case everybody wants to be treated right everybody wants to be catered to at some you know some 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 level everybody wants to get quality service everybody wants to get a uh, uh, a good experience nobody wants to get attitude and all those things it's the same thing for everybody and and 
but unfortunately we don't treat the the, the customers the low low income customers the same way I, it doesn't make no sense you know to me you know we, we training is extremely important customer service how to leverage the customer how to upsell customer all those type of training are now trained by those companies they're not offered by those companies and a lot of time what telecos do banking they sub they, they, they subcontract they give the the, the they give it to what they call an aggregator, which is a, really an area developer. They give it a certain area. You, you develop that area, and that person is in charge. And what they do is, because even the aggregator don't get trained properly. So what they do is they, they recruit people all the time. You know, they, they have high turnovers. And they find themselves uh, 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 really into the situation where it's very difficult because now you're in the business of just always, always recruiting because people come and go. There's also other factors why people go, but training is one of them. You know, so people don't value what they're doing and they don't learn anything. So they think that they, they, they just sell services, they get their phone, they just sell, 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 you know, and they don't talk to customers, they don't get customer feedback, they don't find ways to improve customer experience and all those things. That's what we train as A-Ray. And that's why the micro franchise, a real micro franchise, should really include training is key. It's key. I started this business without training. And after a while, we started the training program. The training has evolved, changed, and we added even an assessment test uh, before we recruit them. All, every time we improved that training, it really was a game changer for us. So it was very interesting to see um, the changes, the impact training does and you don't it doesn't have to be extensive but no more than three-day training but you have to have follow-up and you have to keep your micro franchise slash agent accountable accountability because there's no point when you train and they don't follow up training and then you don't have any consequences to what they're doing so accountability is key guys you know you have to hold them accountable you have to be willing to replace them even though you have a social impact this is not a charity job you're doing you know, you're here to help people that want to help themselves. That's the key. That's the key. They want to help themselves. They don't want to help themselves. All you're doing is trying to drag somebody uh, across the, the journey. And that, that that's just that's just expensive and a waste of time. So that's the first thing. Now, what is the second key component to make a micro franchise successful? Man, I had to get out of this heat, man, but it's got to get lighting when you, uh, when you do videos, man. It's crazy. By the way, all the people saying scenery is important, everything is important. I totally agree, man. Totally agree. It's very important. Scenery and all. This vlog is not about the scenery. It's not about uh, landscape and all that. It's about content, right? So value content more. That's just my take. But anyway. The second thing uh, is monitoring. Man, we, we at A-Red, we have digitized the whole ecosystem. Technology has been a game changer for us, man. Without technology, it'll cost us too, it'll be too expensive to do a micro franchise business model. So this is definitely the right time to do micro franchise. Technology have lowered the cost of operation, but monitoring is key. Man. And training and monitoring go hand in hand. You gotta train, but you gotta monitor your training. You gotta monitor your training. You gotta monitor. Um... Sorry, guys. I don't even know what that is. So you gotta monitor what you guys are doing. You gotta figure out what are the metrics you're monitoring about that will define how their performance is. And you gotta find a way to do it uh, remotely, at least part of it, to minimize your opex, your operational cost. Um, and it goes hand in hand. And what we've done, I'm just giving you some insights, some real insight. We've built algorithms to really let us know and get alerts for, from those who are not performing the way the standard we've put in place. Because you can train, you can monitor, but when you have hundreds and hundreds of micro franchisees, you can't go line and line and see, okay, how they perform this way, how they perform. So algorithm. It's just a math equation you come up with and then that tells you, okay, this person is, is, is performing well, 
okay and bad. And then every time you have a bad performance for that month, you get an alert, and you, then you go through the uh, to, to, to the person detail and see where they lack it. And then you you there's always micro franchisee like any business. It could be the the, the, the agent slash micro franchisee. Could be the location. Sometimes a low traffic location that can have an impact on the performance. And then you also have some type of customer feedback um, that we do through our Wi-Fi solution. I'm not going to get into too much detail because that's not the point of this vlog. This vlog was to, to, to teach you about how to, to do that. I guarantee you. And and I, this is not just for companies that want to do micro franchising. This is also for telecos, banking, and any other big corporation that have agent network business and want to improve on that. Because that's another thing, man. It's you always have to find a way to optimize your network. And this is where we're so bad in Africa about this. We have something that is working okay and we don't find ways to improve on it. I never understood. I can't tell you how many times I've been to those telecos and tell them, listen, if you do this, 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 this is what's gonna happen. Because your agent network are missing this, they're only selling these services. If you add this, that will increase their revenue. You gotta have a monitoring because you can go to any telecom company or any bank and tell them, do you know how your agent performing on the individual level? No, they only know on the macro level. They only see volume sales and that's it. But they don't see it on the macro level, micro level. They don't see that. This is where our differentiator is. We develop technology that, that, that give us data on the micro level, you know, and a monitoring system on the micro level so we can eliminate the bad apple real quickly. Anyway, I do training about this also. If you if you guys are interested to know more and all, hit me up, man. My contact will be somewhere below. Just check up my name on LinkedIn. Send me a message. I hope this is valuable for you guys. Peace.